we ranked 23 cities and one town for property investment. Really simple rules, there are five tiers. Up at the very top, take my money, we're ready to invest right now. Below that, I'm gonna make you an offer, we're tempted. Next one under that, not right now. Nothing wrong with the place, but the timing's not quite right. Below that, meh, speaks for itself. And right down at the very bottom, I'd rather invest in tulips. Really simple rules, we took it in turns. It was all going so well until Rob B decided to change the rules halfway through. Let's get into it. So, Rob, I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go bold. I'm going to go strong. And I'm gonna start off with Belfast. So Belfast, obviously, the capital of Northern Ireland, a uh, big, important city, loads and loads of history. Never been, but it's the type of place I'd like to visit. I actually like Belfast because Belfast struggled after the 08 crash. And when I say struggled, in fact, it probably had the biggest crash of any of these cities that we mentioned here. And it stayed low for a long, long time. Now, prices have recovered, but compared to a lot of other cities here, yields are strong and affordability is really, really good. Again, compared to most of the cities that we've got in this list. So for me, although I've never personally invested in Belfast, it would be one that I'm going to put in, I'm going to make you an offer. What do you think? But uh, I have been to Belfast. Everyone is so friendly. Everyone's aggressively friendly in Belfast. I was there with a the hangover. I really didn't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> they were just so polite. I couldn't help it. You don't want to talk to anyone most of the time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Imagine hangover, Rob. It's <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think it's not right now because I think actually now could be a pretty good time. I don't think it's up there in, as the absolute winner. So yeah, I, I'm going to leave it there. Where should we go cool. next? Um, let's go. Well. While we're sort of doing um, different countries of the UK, let's do Cardiff. So Cardiff um, is one that people have actually been talking to me about Cardiff for a long time. And I've pro- I've not really paid it much attention, but but it just it's, there's been enough that it just makes me think there's clearly something going on here. I know there's a lot of development going on. I know that there's lots of different industry there. It's a place that seems to be on the up, but not like on a, you know how like Manchester just kind of like came out of nowhere and just transformed in a few years. It seems like more of a slow burn. So for me, Cardiff, I'd put that in make you an offer as well. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, I it's a t- t- tough one. For me, it's not quite as strong as Belfast, but it's strong enough to be there. So, so far we're in, we're aligned, we're in unison it. I'm going to go next with Portsmouth. And I'm going to start picking on a place, Rob, because Portsmouth shields are pretty good, but fundamentals, things like transport links, the employment in the area. Yes, it has them. Of course, all these places have transport links and all these places have employment and all these places have universities. But for me, Portsmouth, it just is weaker than nearly every other one mentioned here. And I'm I'm not going to go quite as harsh as to say I'd rather invest in tulips. So people of Portsmouth, don't come and get me because you're pretty tough because you're sailors. Um, but I'd go with meh, meh. I've been hung over in Portsmouth as well, actually. Bit of a theme here. <laughs> <laughs> I like this theme. <laughs> yeah. Where else have I been hung over? Um... But how over in Glasgow? Let's pick that. Um, Glasgow. Um, oh, how how high would I go with Glasgow? Um, actually, I'm going to go not right now with Glasgow. And Ooh. the reason for that is actually, I think Glasgow's got loads going for it. And in terms of like pure city to invest in, it would be up there and take my money. But because of what's happened with legislation in Scotland, that really puts me off. So we've done a, a video on the on the rent freeze and eviction ban and things like that. We'll link to that. That that means for me, it's not the right time to make a move up there. That really puts me off. I was surprised actually when you put it in not right now, but then you reminded me of the legislation changes there, all the potential changes and what's going on and the uncertainty. So we're still aligned. We're still aligned. We're still in agreement. Let's see if we can find one where we don't agree. I'm going to go Derby. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to hide my feelings here. I love Derby. 
I've been to Derby, not been hung over there, unfortunately, Rob. The employment is ridiculously strong. Average wages is one of the highest in the UK, which has surprised a lot of people. It's a small city, so there's a, you can't just keep building and building. The uh, planning um, restrictions are quite strict there. So because of the restrictions and the lack of supply, the high employment in the area, the high wages in the area, and actually, in comparison, the low prices take my money i'm all in on derby where else might we disagree liverpool um sorry i didn't mean to put liverpool down there <laughs> I, just, I, I i dropped it honest um just drop it at the top and um, move on i'm gonna put it here um <gasps> so i suppose the, the question would be why would it not be up there at the very top and i have have I hung over in Liverpool? I can't remember, but I did. But I like Liverpool a lot, and it has got so much going for it. But the reason I'm going to put it here is more because I think Liverpool's Liverpool's a place where you have to be careful. You need to be careful of your hubcaps. You also need to be careful of where you invest because there's there's areas that work. There are developments that are great. There are developments that are not. And so I think it's one where you need to have, have your wits about you a little bit. And so for that reason, I would so I'd put it. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it at the very top. I, I'm okay. Going to disagree. Liverpool is at the top for me. The Employment is strong. The average wages compared to property prices, so its affordability is great. Rents are on the up. It's a city that's absolutely transformed. Billions of pounds have been spent on it. Billions of pounds to come. There is so much investment in the area. Yes, like any area, it has its flaws. And yes, I am from Liverpool. (laughs) But I truly believe that it is one of the greatest cities to invest in in the UK. I really, really do. So I think we should be allowed that one veto each. So I've just made this rule up to save Liverpool and I'm going to use my veto and I'm going to veto it, Rob, to move it to take my money because I believe the fundamentals, the prices, the people, let's throw that in um, so I can defend them from your hood caps comments. All of it is top notch. Um, Greatest people in the UK has to be take my money. I'm using my veto. Okay, veto applied. Let's see you if you next? take my veto. Um, I'm going to go with Newcastle. And Newcastle, great city, um, great people. I'm sure you've been hung over there as well, Rob. It's time to invest is yet to come. I think it's not far off, and I think you could invest there and do quite well. But for me, Newcastle, it's out there on its own. It, it, its economy is quite strong, but... I think there's better places to invest right now. At some point in the future, Newcastle might become more attractive. And I'm not saying I I wouldn't invest there, but if you force me to place my tile, I'm going to put it in not right now. Uh, I need to save my veto for something that's potentially coming up later. So I'll leave that where it is. But I do also agree because I think what needs to happen in Newcastle is rents need to kick on a bit rents are pretty low and which means the yields aren't as high as they should be given some of the disadvantages you've got so it's going to be a late cycle kind of place so i think that now is not the time but that could change what else where else um be brave rob be brave well okay so here's what i'm not sure about southampton southampton is a Mm. weird one because this has been an underperformer like for as long as we've been talking about cities and where and like their investment prospects on paper it's got everything going for it in in, it's got it's got the airport it's got the transport into london it's got employment it's got loads but its prices just weirdly lag everywhere else in the southeast even at that point in the cycle when the whole southeast was kicking off and nowhere else in the country was southampton seemed to sit that one out it's either a not right now because it's going to get there at some point but it could be a down here because because <laughs> There have been so many points. At any point over the last 10 years, you could have looked at Southampton and gone, this is going to be great. I'm getting in early here. This is going to be amazing. And then it just hasn't happened. So if something hasn't happened for that long, maybe it's not going to happen. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe it's not the place to be. That could be too harsh. Oh, well, I've used my veto, Rob. I personally would have put Southampton in meh. But um, yeah, I've used my veto. So we move on. 
Next, I'm going to pick Leeds. Leeds. We'll, we'll go Leeds. I've lived in Leeds. Um, fantastic city. Fantastic city. Um, loads of um, employment in the, in the area. Lots of head offices based in Leeds. Um, a really affluent, wealthy city. Yes, of course, like any city, it has its spots that aren't that great. Incredible transport links. Uh, it, it's just got so much going for it. Prices have gone up in Leeds, but I still think there's a long way to go. And I think because it's one of those cities that's already good, it doesn't need money to come in to make it good. For me, I'm go oh, it's close between the top two. I might be in a good mood, but I'm going to go take my money. Leeds is a great city Ooh. to invest in. Okay. Are oh, you going to use your veto? No, no, no. I don't feel. I, I, I would have. It would have been borderline for me. I don't feel strongly enough to apply veto power to that one. So I'm going to keep that in reserve still. Cambridge, and there might there might be a few of these. These Cambridge for me is a not right now, but there are times to get in, and the times to get into places like Cambridge, and there'll be others on this list we will come to as well. Is when price it when you've had the crash, prices are weak. You can go in and get a bargain. So now clearly is not the time for that. Yeah, agree. And, and I'm going to make another quick one. Oxford, I'd put in the same bag. Incredible fundamentals. For the long-term investment, if you bought in Oxford or Cambridge today, I think over the very long term, you do fine. If you are open to different areas, I think there are better options right now. Okay, should we do another quick one? So I'll just go like that. And over to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't... It, I actually agree. I actually agree. So we're not going to we're not going to be controversial here. I'm not going to regret using my veto. But why have you put it there? And I know you love Nottingham, and I know you've lived there. But it's not just that, right? No, it's 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 a more developed derby, I suppose. I mean, they're they're so close to each other geographically that they share a lot of benefits. On top of that, Nottingham's got the universities, but also Nottingham is more developed. So I'd say there's more opportunity in derby to offset it. So if you're if you're sort of wanting a bit of a I don't know, a more of a sure thing, then you'd probably go for Nottingham out of the two. But the actual investment case is pretty similar. Okay. I'm going to pick one. Bradford. I'm going Bradford. Great university. Close to Leeds. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> I've run out of good things to say, Rob. Um, if you If you Google top places for crime, most crime in Europe, not in, in, not in the UK, in Europe, Bradford makes the top five. I think there are so many better options around Bradford that why would you invest there? You're going, oh, my tulips. going on tulips, wow. Rob. Bradford, um, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Bradford, but there's so many better options than, than your good self yeah. to invest um, in. Hull, this could be in a few of these different categories for different reasons. Where would I settle with Hull? I think I would put it into meh. And I think that's because there's a case for not right now, because I think the the values there are so, so low that they're a bit like Newcastle. There's going to become a point where it's going to fly. So you can say not right now. There's, um, you could even get up to, I'm going to make you an offer. But I don't know if I feel strongly enough about either of those to go there. So it's a tough one, but I'm going to go meh. I think there's going to be people in the comments who could argue Hull up and even down <laughs> from where it is. Um, the transport links to Hull are rubbish. They really are. Like It's terrible like how bad the transport links are to Hull. And it has a reputation that might not be fair and probably is unfair, but I think meh, is probably where I would put it. And anyway, I don't have a veto, so let's move on. I'm going to go next with one of my favourite places on this list, and it's Bournemouth. I love Bournemouth. Beautiful beach, in my opinion, the best beach in the UK. Amazing people, lovely, lovely weather. Does that make it a good place to invest? Probably not. It's done okay over the years, Bournemouth, but I think that it's a place that, is probably going to end up as meh because it, its transport links are okay. It does have an airport, although it's not as good as Southampton's airport. It does have direct trains into L London, 
but they're not the fastest. So for all its beauty and for the people and everything else that Bournemouth offers as an investment destination, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. So as we don't have an okay, it's going down as a meh. Yep, I think that is fair. Where next? Let's go Leicester. This is going to be a controversial one. I'm going to go meh with Leicester. Um, It's performed really, really well over recent years. There were a couple of years where it was topping the capital growth charts. And you could say that, you know, clearly it's got a lot going for it. And it is it has, but I just don't like Leicester that much. Is that something I can say on YouTube? <laughs> like I think it's fine. And I've I've been there a few times. I think it's all right. The my trying to try and rationalise this. Well Leicester's already had its growth spurt. So it's not like you're getting in there to make up for it being particularly cheap. So I think given that it's got the same sort of price as some of the others, it's just a meh for me. Okay. Fair enough. Next I'm going Manchester. And Manchester is a super city. It's the London of the North, or people in Manchester might say London is the Manchester of the South. Uh, Manchester is an absolute powerhouse. We've based one of our offices there. Uh, employment is ridiculously strong. Billions and billions of pounds have been spent in, on Manchester. Loads more money, many billions more to go in. Uh, one of the biggest airports in the UK. Transport links, fantastic. They're only improving with HS2, which is confirmed to Manchester. So if we were ranking this by weather, then it would be bottom. But as we're ranking it by its investment potential and where is the best places to invest right now, for me, it's going at the top and take my money. Yeah, agreed. Quick one for me, Sheffield. Sheffield, um, for me, is I'm going to make you an offer. I don't think it's up there with take my money. It's another one where it's got loads going for it. Um, I don't think it's like absolutely at the very top in terms of... um, in, in terms of some of the things that we've talked about, but it's there's value there. Is it the most exciting place to invest in the country? No. Is it a steady one where you'll probably do pretty well? Yeah. So I'm going to make you an offer. Yeah, I agree with you, Rob. I think that's a good choice. I'd put it there as well. Next, I'm going to go Aberdeen. So we're headed north, very north, uh, the most northern city of the list. And Aberdeen is a really interesting one because it kind of ignores the rest of the UK with its property market. It is so volatile. It, the rest of the UK can be all in positive territory, all going up in value, and Aberdeen can be going in reverse. And that's because it is so reliant and so sensitive to the oil industry and oil prices. For me, it's too much of, it feels like a casino investment. It feels that volatility, Aberdeen feels the closest here to like a trendy stock rather than a property area. So for that reason, it's far too up and down for me. I like my, you know, safe bets for the long term. Aberdeen does not fit that category for me. So I'm going to put it in. I'd rather invest in tulips. I was prepared to use my veto then, but I didn't have to because I would have put it there as well. It's the, it's the same same reason. It's just can't you just can't predict what's going to happen. And if it was if it was a stock, if it if you could just get in and out quickly, and you could sort of see where you think things are going and kind of use it as an opportunity to make a bet on the oil price or something like that, then it would be quite attractive. But you can't do that with property. London, London is uh, not right now, and. <sighs> This could change, but the reason for not right now is that it's it's had a disappointing few years. It's had it's had a really poor few years actually. Sort of like sort of two thousand and sixteen onwards, London has underperformed, but because it performed so strongly from sort of two thousand and ten onwards, sort of the, had like the, for those five years where it was just absolutely smashing it. For that reason, it's pretty fully valued, I would say. But as a general investment. Not right now. I'm glad you picked London because I'd struggle with this one because I had it down as a not right now or I'm going to make you an offer. Because if it was at the beginning of the year, then I, when the market was really strong and booming, I'd be very tempted to put this, I'm going to make you an offer because London was getting ignored and still is. I feel that in the next 12, 24 months, if we did this again, London would be moving up. But for now, yeah, I think you made the right choice. Let's go next with edinburgh and edinburgh beautiful city 
I've been there. It's incredible. Uh, loads of people love Edinburgh. In fact, I've not really met anybody who doesn't like Edinburgh. It's one of those cities. And it, for investment, it, it's similar to London. You know, it's got those premium price points. It's done very well over the years. But I feel there's so many other places that can do better at the moment. But for me right now, I'm going to put Edinburgh in, not right now. I think it has to be because it's so similar to London in in the way it's performed and the reasons for investing there. Let's go Bristol. I was avoiding Bristol. Bristol. I didn't know where to put it. Where are you going to put this? Yeah, well, I think you're wise to avoid it because I think I'm going to offend everyone in Bristol <laughs> and just put it in. I'd I'd go. Yeah, nah, I think it's fine. I think it's like I've I've been to Bristol a fair bit because I've got friends and family there. It's a nice place. It's it's fine, but you're really paying for that. You, it's it's very it's it's very very expensive, and the transport links by train are rubbish. Like I know you can technically get from like Paddington to there in like ninety minutes or something, but the trains never work properly. Uh, but I just think it's like yeah, if if the valuations were a lot lower, then you go oh well, this is a really nice place. It's pretty well located. Blah blah blah. Great, but you're really really paying for being in Bristol. And I think there are so many stronger locations where you get a lot of the benefits, but without paying so much for it. Okay, next. I've waited for it. And I'm going to pick it now. I'm going to go Watford. And yes, before you fill up the YouTube comments, we know Watford is not a city. But Watford is where Rob's born. And as my place of birth was uh, on the list then, I think it's only fair that you go on that list as well, Rob, or your hometown. Town, see, it's not even a city. Um, so um, you've lost your Premier League status. Um, your shopping centre's rubbish. Um, you have got the, the Harry Potter um, Warner Brothers Museum nearby, though, so that's good. And actually, um, I do go there <laughs> for bowling occasionally, but um, because I just want to annoy you, I'm going to put it in. I'd rather invest in tulips. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, look, I've, I've saved my veto for this moment. <laughs> I, knew, I knew this was going to come. So I deliberately saved the, the veto. So I don't live in Watford anymore. <laughs> I, don't, I choose that. I'm, I'm from there. I... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're on the defensive here, Rob. I'm very proud of, to say I'm from Liverpool. You don't sound so proud. Yeah, well, this is it. So like, I feel... But I'm using my veto to just go from tulips to meh, which seems like a bit of a waste, but, <laughs> but I feel like I've got to be honest. If you invested in Watford because you're from Watford and you're not comfortably comfortable doing anything other than investing locally, it's not terrible. It's fine. But I just I couldn't have it languishing in tulips. <laughs> you used your veto to upgrade your hometown <laughs> for, to meh. <laughs> It shows my commitment to, to property and the process and intellectual honesty. I just, I just can't. I couldn't do otherwise. Okay, well, you brought some credibility to this video. It was, it was needed. Okay, but and finally, Birmingham. Where's it going, Rob? Where are you putting Birmingham? For me, it would, it would go. I'm going to make you an offer. Ooh, it's it's between there and take my money, but. It's a it's a close one, but it's definitely not a meh. It's definitely not a not right now because I think now is probably a pretty decent time. I'm just if I just if I look at what we've got up here, I can't quite get Birmingham up alongside them, but it's close. I, I think if we had a line there, then that's where it would go for me. Birmingham's an interesting one, Rob. Um... I do think I'd choose to live in Birmingham. It's not my favourite city on the list. If you know, if you had to rank like which are my favourite cities, it wouldn't be there. But for investment, it's hard to argue against. I'm going to make you an offer, and actually, it could be argued even higher. But I don't have a veto. So, as an investment city, Birmingham is right up there and deserves its place. So. We're done, Rob. You managed to keep Watford off the bottom of the league, which is not what the Premier League team did last year. Um, but you've, so that's an achievement. And I've managed to get Liverpool top of the league. So this has been a successful video. I'd say so. And, and how many million people have we offended in total? So we so borderline offended Birmingham, um, for definitely offended Southampton. Um, I've probably offended Leicester as well. So yeah, this has cut down our audience significantly for the future, but hopefully it's worth it because there's some useful observations in there. So we've ranked 20 
three cities plus one town. It's meant to be 24 cities, but we know we kind of sneaked Watford in there. But as Watford is a town, you might think, okay, what other towns are good to invest in? Make sure you watch our video on the best towns to invest in right now. We give you that list, and there are some absolutely crackers right in that list that would be in our take my money section if they were allowed in. But they're not because they're towns. So go and watch that video next.